How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jory Geek. Welcome back to the channel for another 1-6 scale action figure unboxing. And this time we're looking at one of my favourite characters, good old Kurt the Nightcrawler off of X-Men. So, Nightcrawler first made his appearance in Giant Size X-Men number 1 with a whole host of other characters. But he's become a firm favourite. He's appeared in a number of movies played by two different actors. And Toys Era did this figure a while ago called The Nightmare. The Nightmare because it's an unofficial figure. That's right, they didn't have the licence for him. It's based on this character from the later X-Men movies. So let's get into him and have a look-see. Okay, so here's the box. It's a standard box, quite thin. You've got an image of him on the front there. You can't really make that out on camera. It says the Nightmare because, like I say, it's an unlicensed figure. Nothing really to speak of on the back. You've got your cack as usual. Nothing exciting there. Okay, let's get him open and have a look see inside. There you go. You get some nice artwork of the... Uh, I don't know if that's the figure or the... No, this is a bit of artwork. Um, and then... Oh, look at him. Well... I'm not sure what I was expecting, but I'm liking the costume straight away. It's popping. Let's get him out of this box and see what he looks like. Ooh, okie dokie, ladies and gents. This is better than I expected. Um, you get a standard base. There is a uh, kind of a clip-on bit that says the nightmare. That's cat. I couldn't use that. Um, in terms of accessories, you get a few um, different hands here. These are quite nicely detailed. Obviously, with his three fingers, these kind of claws, long nails on the end there, and the nice, nice blue colour. Now you get two of these. These are lovely. These are die-cast fencing swords. Those of you that know the X-Men will know that Kurt uses these in some of the comics. Um, these are really nice. I quite like them. You get this. Now this is weird. You get a X-Men costume, um, so you can swap his outfit if you want. Um, but you kind of get it on him unless you tear the other costume. It's bonkers. So it's a lot of shit. Can it use it? Um, the figure himself. Now let's just look at this costume. It absolutely pops. I'm loving the red. I'm loving the blues. It's a strange material. I do like the X on the belt there. That looks really cool. Um, the head sculpt I think is pretty good for a third party figure. It's on point. I like it. Um, the costume itself fits well but it does bunch and yes you can see it's got like down here some cracks already appearing because of the material of the costume at some point. I like this. This is a, uh, his tail, obviously, which is wired, so you can bend it and shift it into all kinds of different ways and shapes. That is a good, good point. Overall, the figure looks bloody good. Um, I'm really quite impressed with this. I was expecting it to be a load of old rubbish, but no, I'm liking it. This is how I'm going to have Kurt displayed in my collection with the swords out. I think the figure is pretty good i'm happy with this hit that like and subscribe button let us know what you think in the comments catch you next time